A U.S. Senate committee has begun a hearing on repealing the Defense of Marriage Act, which bars same-sex couples from receiving federal benefits. The act, introduced in 1996, defines marriage as being between a man and a woman. But a new bill introduced by California Senator Dianne Feinstein, titled the Respect for Marriage Act, seeks to overturn it. On Tuesday, the White House and President Obama would said he would back the new bill. For more on this, I'm joined now by Mark Strasser, who's in Columbus, Ohio. He's a professor at Capital University Law School. Professor, thanks for joining us on the show. Thank you for having me. Now, when we look at the situation right now, uh, where same-sex marriages are only recognized in certain states, it throws up a whole load of legal questions uh, about the recognition of that union. Is it recognized in other states? Does it oblige the federal government to recognize the marriage? What is the situation? Um, so uh, that's right. It's a little confusing. So there are two aspects that you might consider. One is whether the federal government would recognize. And the Defense of Marriage Act basically says that the federal government will not recognize a same-sex marriage, even if it's valid in the state where it was celebrated. And an additional element of the Defense of Marriage Act basically says that states do not have to recognize marriages uh, same-sex marriages that were celebrated in other states. So there are two aspects to the act. Now, what is the Senate now trying to do? Well, if that, if the, the Defense of Marriage Act is repealed and the new law is brought in, will that compel the federal government to recognize same-sex marriages? Um, so basically, the uh, federal government traditionally looks to the states to define marriage. So the federal government would not recognize a same-sex marriage unless the state in which the couple was domiciled um, recognized the marriage. So if the state, like Massachusetts, recognized the marriage, then the federal government would follow suit if DOMA were repealed. So what about other states? Suppose uh, a same-sex couple get married in Massachusetts and then move to, say, live in Florida. Is Florida obliged to recognize that marriage? Well, and, and here's how this has come up in the past, and this was true even before DOMA was passed. What you would have would be one state which, uh, for example, uh, preclu precluded a couple from marrying. The couple would move to another state just for a weekend, not move there, but just go there for a weekend, marry and come back, and then say they had a valid marriage. But it's always been understood that the domicile in that instance could refuse to recognize the marriage. So, for example, even before DOMA, if um, a same-sex couple in Florida went to Massachusetts, married, and then went back to Florida, Florida would have the option whether to recognize it. If DOMA were repealed, we'd presumably go back to that system so that states would not have to recognize a marriage just because the people who lived there uh, went for a weekend holiday somewhere else, married, and came back. Okay, so we're going to have to leave it there. Thanks for joining us, Professor Mark Strasser from Columbus, Ohio. Oh, thank you for having me.